Where are we? Looks like a piece of pulse. Pulse? What, you mean like the Bodum vestige? Something like that. It's close to Eden. Yeah, well, what I don't understand is after the purge and all that Lassie paranoia, why keep a chunk of pulse under the floorboards? Hmm. Is this what the Primarch wanted us to see? A place for Lassie to accept their fate. Do you really think our focus is what Dysley said it is? You mean, become Ragnarok? Destroy the Falsi Eden and shatter Cocoon. It's what the vision's telling us, more or less. <sighs> so, we're back to square one. Out of luck. Mr. Hero! Cocoon calling snow! It's almost like Dysley wants it to come true. Seems that way. He sure didn't mind explaining it. Here's your focus on the silver platter. But that doesn't make sense. I don't get it. Why would a Cocoon Falsi want to destroy Cocoon? Maybe it's a Falsi thing. You know what I mean? Some grand design we just don't understand. Huh. Hey, Snow! Nothing from you? Uh huh? So, this way? Part 73 is the final part of set 9, even though we are in chapter 10. But we are in the 5th arc. Uh, I really don't know what the hell is going on. I'll probably explain that in the next part. But point, uh, right now, uh, before we advance, I'm actually going to talk to everybody. Uh, and I'm going to talk to Snow right now. So gathering up the tools for destruction turned you to crystal. of us. I had it all wrong. Totally wrong. I only made it this far because I thought we were the world's last hope. Now, let's destroy Cocoon and become a Seath. Damn it. Around. 
Snow's taking this all pretty hard. Seeing him go from being so damn upbeat to such a mopey wreck is making me feel depressed. I'm worried about his brand. Been checking your brand? You start to stray. Keep that in mind. Okay, I actually didn't finish talking to everybody. Uh, I'm gonna save really quick. I think. Uh and then I'm gonna talk to, I think, Vanille. And that's gonna happen now. Not that very exciting, but... Notice yeah. James is uh, doing this off of the pictures of his little dealie. Yeah. Otherwise he doesn't know what he's doing. Nope. Except just running down an abandoned train tunnel, which is kind of strange. Yeah, this is a beautiful level, and the music is freaking awesome. Talking to Vanille, so more dialogue. I believe everything a foul sea says. He's telling us our focus is to destroy Cocoon. But who knows? He could be lying to trick us into helping him to do something else. He should listen to Sarah, not some foul sea. No matter what our focus is, we still make our own decisions. Worst comes to worst, we can always just do nothing and wait for time to run out. After all, there's no stopping our brands. I got on that purge train on my own. The Sanctum said we'd just be shipped out of Cocoon. And I believed it. I thought if I went back to Grand Pulse with that foul C, I might be able to escape all this. But I guess things have a funny way of catching up with you. Don't believe everything a foul C says. He's telling us our focus is to destroy Cocoon. But who knows? He could be lying to trick us into helping him to do something else. We should listen to Sarah, not some foul... No matter what our focus is, worse comes to after all this. So Dysley was really the foul sea Bartandalus. The vision he was talking about was that crazy Ragnarok dream we all had when we were made into the sea. One of us is supposed to become this Ragnarok thing and destroy Eden. Except we do that by destroying this orphan that gives Eden its power. I think I have that part straight now. So Sarah's real focus was to gather a fresh batch of Lassie candidates who could attack Cocoon. We all showed up at the Pulse Falsies place, so she turned to Crystal. Snow was wrong from the start then. We were never supposed to save Cocoon. That makes a lot more sense. Not that I'm happy about it. Reigns should be off fighting the Sanctum by now. We've got to get out of here and join up with him. But still, rushing straight into the middle of the fight's probably just what Dysley wants us to do. So Dysley was really the foul sea Bartandalus. The vision he was talking about was that crazy Ragnarok dream we all had when we were made into the sea. One of us is supposed to become this Ragnarok thing and destroy Eden. Except we do that by destroying this orphan that gives Eden its power. I think I have that part straight now. So Sarah's real focus was to gather a fresh batch of the sea candidates who could attack Cocoon. We all showed up at the Pulse Falsies place, so she turned to Crystal. Snow was wrong from the start then. That makes a lot more... Are we ready to get out of here? Yeah, I, uh, I gotta apologize. Looks like I was wrong. About Sarah's focus? Not like you to second guess yourself. Well, even heroes make mistakes. What about your plan to protect Cocoon? Either way, your faith in Sarah was strong. That strength got you this far. It was all wrong. Yeah. You tried so hard to convince us that you even fooled yourself. <laughs> You've been a total idiot. But still... It saved me. You trusted Sarah. Let that faith drive you. It even made me want to believe.
So all my grinding goes to waste of uh, pretty much here. This is where I teach Snow, uh, Hope, and Lightning the Saboteur rule. Actually, no, I don't teach them the Saboteur rules yet. I just upgrade the Christian where I can upgrade it right now. Because in the next part... Cause oh, I I didn't, were, wait, is this all maxed out or something? Well, now it is, but after... Because like where I, where I stop recording and set... Like in, in this part, I stop recording uh, at a save point. But if you go up the stairs... And if you defeat one enemy, which is where I am right now, once I go up those stairs and kill one enemy, then it says you can fully, uh, then you can upgrade to other roles. And I didn't know that, so set ten begins with me doing that. So I, pr so I probably could have put that in here, but I didn't know that that would happen. I thought that uh, after uh, we beat the boss, we could do that, but I'm like, so oh shit. Out right now, but then... Yeah, at the beginning of the next part, I'm gonna waste all the all all, all the Crystarium on the uh, secondary rules. And by the way, the secondary rules drain CP like nothing. I didn't yes, even I get halfway. It takes over nine hundred ninety-nine thousand and nine hundred ninety-nine to do one just one full roll. Yeah, I think I got it's halfway like... with Snow and Hope on uh, the Saboteur, but for Lightning, I trained her in both Synergist and Saboteur, and I got like a quarter of the way through. So, that's it for set 9. Um, stay tuned for set 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm going to try to get set 10 out before I go to Oklahoma. And if not, I might even upload it while I'm at Oklahoma. So, stay tuned for all those parts. And uh, that's it for now. Any final words like before? Uh, no. <laughs> Just like before, no. So, stay tuned for more parts of Final Fantasy 13. See you guys later. Goodbye.